Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In the last class we made a video on how to call make API calls in our Flutter app. But today we'll be looking at how to display our API data to a list, like how to get a list from our API data. And without wasting much time, let's just get started. Mind you, the code to the former one will be in the description also. The list will be in the description below okay let's get started now we'll be wrapping the user in a list because we want to display a list wrap it in a list and then in our response we won't have this right here we're having a few variables and all that So variable of JSON response will equal to JSON decode JSON dot decode and then response dot body. Okay, and then We'll create a list of users. Now, this list will be empty. I'm not really using a list. As I said, we want to display our API into a list. So that's why we are creating a list here, actually. So, and then we'll create a loop. You know how for loops work, right? So we'll be calling a variable of view. In users now you can name this anything but I just decided to be going with you because you looks going with the users and all that you looks the best to use can use any letter so for you then you initiate make an instance of user and I'll call it user users user equal to users and then you fill in the parameters needed now we we'll just be using it i hope you understand this for loop the for loop is saying that for every users we have then it should print it one 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 that's what we are trying to do it should print all the users one by one so you'll be using the u name u username u email and all that so that's what we'll be doing here Username. Sorry, you email. Okay. And we are just going to add a response into the list. Users dot add. And then we'll add a response. The response we are getting from the the loop will add it into our list. After doing this, now return the users. Because why we are adding this, the result we get from the loop, you know, we get a list of, we get the list actually. And then we'll return users. So okay, I'm having an error here. So Okay, and the reason why I'm having an error here, the main coding this has not realized yet. But the reason is but is because in the list we created the users list, we have to turn 
the users also into a list because as of right now it's a map string dynamic dynamic as you created up there so we have to turn it into a list as you can see the list users okay and now we are through with our api code that uh, it's just time to use it in our main file i can see a lot of errors but we'll just be wrapping it with a list actually like list And then yeah, we won't be needing the column again because we want it to be in a list. So we'll be using the list view dot builder. And this will take two parameters, the item count and the item builder. The item count will be the number of item from our, our API. So that will just be snapshots dot data dot length okay don't forget your also and the item builder will take a context and an index the index is just to get the positions of the item and all that so after the item builder then will return a list style I'm not using a list style because list style just looks easy to work with and looks fresher to display a list with. Okay, and here we have our leading. Oh no, we have our title. Title will be our our name. It should be a text so that will be snapshot dot data and because of the index we have in our builder we have to add it whenever we are displaying any data so we'll add the index dot name and don't forget your exclamation mark so, so that it will return a null value now we subtitle so which will be our email And after that, we we'll have a trailing. It's just so easy to work with a list style. It has many functions we can use and all that. So the trailing will be a username, and that's just what we need to display the list from our API. Uh, we ought to restart and this is taking a bit of time i think my network is my network is kind of slow that's why it is that's why it's taking time so let's just wait for a while all right yeah i'll just remind you that i'll leave all the source code in the description below if you want a new video you can also request and i'll make a video so let's wait a little for this to, to load. Oh my. And here we have it. The data, you can see this is displayed in a list. And wow, it's just as easy as that to display data, to display a list from an API. If you enjoyed this video, kindly subscribe to my channel like this video and also share to your friends who may need help with this who are having this kind of problem in their app and i'll see you in the next lesson